here are our single tube dahlias which we uh, took and uh, stored uh, in November so that was four months ago so they've been sat in the cool for four months now I check them now and again and today we're going to um, uh, unpack um, some of them and have a look and a talk about how to get them started um, and what we're going to do today is to look at some which are have doubtful eyes and um, plant them up temporarily to try to stimulate uh, um, shoot formation from, from eyes. Any that fail and uh, uh, the shoots don't appear, uh, we'll discard. Arietti Bliss. We'll uh, take some at random, have a look, have a talk about what we can see and uh, plant up any tubers that have doubtful eyes. You can see how they were organised. I don't know whether you watched the original video when we the uh, division uh, and then as you can see you roll them up in there each in their own uh, compartment of clean film these look rather better look that neck is very suspect I might just try and save it because I think we've got an eye there possibly two such a shame that the neck is, is failing here So this is the tuber, this part here is the neck, not as thin as others, each tuber is different in shape actually, and that is possibly an eye. Not much left of this, but there's possibly an eye there, I can't see one for sure. Can't see one on there. Now this is uh, better. This is the tuber. There's the neck part, and there's an area there which I think you can see uh, is likely to be an eye. That's that's a root a root coming away. There's a little bit of brownness there and dampness. I hope that's not uh, rot. So I think we'll get this off today, we'll plant this today so that to take advantage of that eye. So let's have a careful look at these. I think that area there is an eye. That's previous root, but that area there I think is an eye. I'll get some more of the same variety out. This is Arietti Bliss, so we can put them all in the same test tray. So let's have a look. Now then, there's some. Uh, fine fungal growth on this. It's like a sort of white uh, cloudiness about it. Hopefully that's visible to you. That superficial mould uh, is not penetrating and will do no harm. Possible eyes in that area. Just 
goes down. I think that neck has failed, so we'll throw that one. Just can't see the anatomy of that one at all. We'll throw that. There's a no signs of an eye, and I don't think there will be, so we'll chuck that. Very doubtful. So my method for testing these to see whether we have got a viable uh, dahlia or not is to lay them in a test bed of damp but not wet uh, compost and um, give them three weeks and if they're uh, shooting we will then transfer them into full size pots to grow on. If they're not shooting at three weeks then we will uh, discard them. So we've got about an inch, two, cent two centimetres of compost there. If you can see an area that you think might be an eye, then uh, leave that uppermost. end off because I don't think it's serving any purpose. Shouldn't be touching, but they can be as close as you like otherwise. I think that's as much as I can do with, with those. I'd like it to be just very slightly damper. Now we'll put that on the heating mat at 20 degrees centigrade. Um, I'll cover it. I will cover it to prevent evaporation and leave it alone now for three weeks. Um, at that time, shoots may be emerging through this uh, through the compost, but if not, then I'll simply remove the compost and have a look at each of the tubers as we go. Any that's not put a shoot out by then will be discarded, and any that are uh, shooting will be uh, put in a, a full-size pot and taken forward. You don't have to be fussy about the container as long as the tubers are uh, covered in soil. There's a certain amount of dampness there and uh, they're on the heat then they'll do what they have to do.
because the drainage is not required, you can use uh, little uh, food takeaway pots like this. That's the next gun on that, so we'll let it go. None of these are particularly good, this variety. They do vary how they cope with the winter. that one. One of the great advantages of uh, doing this uh, is that you uh, don't waste energy um, trying to bring up a, a dahlia that's uh, simply not going to sprout. It also saves on uh, compost because um, you're doing the test on a very small amount of compost for each, for each um, tuber. So we'll come back in two or three weeks and see how we're getting on.